I just want to be on top of my game, take notes on everything, and if something comes up, I'll be ready for it. We all have to fight for our own life. Well, the Canadian delegation is usually one of the most awful pro-abortion uh, delegations in the world. So to have good young Canadian pro-life people at the UN is wonderful because delegates love to have young people at the UN. Because if a young person comes and talks to a delegate, taking an interest in the UN, they're taking an interest in the delegate, taking an interest in their country, and most delegates here at the UN, most diplomats, love to interact with young people. I studied from the College of Physicians and Surgeons in Ontario, that's where I'm from in Canada, has uh, shown that people who've had abortions have a four times higher rate of hospitalization due to infection, a five times higher rate of hospitalization due to psychiatric problems, and a six times higher rate of suicide compared to women who have not had abortions. As well, abortion is the leading cause of breast cancer, it causes cervical damage, ectopic pregnancies, and premature births, and in many cases, infertility. Um, now, where these studies were done, it's in the, um, one of the most advanced Can I ask what your question is, please? Yeah. Okay. Give us a lecture. Do you believe that young women have the right to the knowledge, this knowledge that I've uh, just shared with you, um, as they consider abortion, and that providers of abortion should be obliged to give it to them beforehand? Thank you very much. Another question, please. Welcome. Welcome. Come dance with us. The most surprising thing for me though uh, has been at a uh, event on strategies for resisting violence against women. The um, disagreements between the different um, representatives of the LGBT international movement on uh, the use of children in gaining their political uh, motives. Uh, particularly the representative from Africa was expressing that she thought it was quite inappropriate to use children uh, in that manner and she was quickly shut down by the uh, European and South American representatives. One of the things that I realized from the talks that I've been to for the past two days is that a lot of the delegates and a lot of the representatives of the, of the NGOs um, keep stressing that education is a very important component of, of uh, eliminating violence against women. And what I find is um, interesting also is the fact that they don't specify, it's very ambiguous as to the education of um, contraceptives and abortion. They don't mention that they're educating the women about the dangers of it. Um, countries in Africa, they're introducing these and women are dying because they're not educated. So at the end of every plenary session we're actually handing these pamphlets out to educate the delegates about the negative side effects that contraceptives and abortion have on women. Um, one of the most shocking things um, was uh, a mention of forced abortions and women who uh, had to have forced abortions and then sometimes were forced to eat the aborted fetus. Um, and I think everyone in the room could agree that this was disgusting and uh, was one of the most brutal things we've heard the thing. Uh, but it just kind of brought to mind that uh, uh, this is only a small um, and obviously horrible atro atrocity of the, in, within the whole abortion issue, but just brought to mind that there's so much more uh, that doesn't go said here at the UN. It is just kind of brushed into the corner. Things like forced sterilizations and um, the one-child policy in China with so many missing women and these things, you just don't hear about it um, in the context that we should. So. How would you respond, Julian, um, to a perfectionist society who begin to discriminate against our disabled brothers and sisters in the womb? What is the focus on sex-selective abortion and what that effect has on human trafficking, by bullying, and rape? I'm just wondering um, what, why there wasn't any mention of sex-selective abortion. Um, I know a lot of people think that this is just happening in South Asian and uh, East Indian communities, but actually this is also happening in Canada, so much so that our um, Parliament is currently putting forward a, a private member's motion to condemn this practice. So I'm just wondering, what is the United Nations doing to include this type of femicide um, as violence against women?
I mean, 200 million women are missing from sex plus and abortion, so it's a problem that the United Nations, I think, should address since it is violence against women in the room. Has the right to take another person's life for whatever reason. And I think life in whatever form is sacred mm -hmm. and needs to be respected and nurtured to grow. People ask me often, will the pro-lifers win? And I say, of course, because the pro-abortionists hardly have any children. But the pro-lifers have many more children than the pro-abortionists. So the, the pro-abortion system is a dead end. 